So I'm talking here to Kolski from the Japanese uh, media and what, what is the newspaper? Mainichi. Yeah. And um, you are here at the, uh, at, the, at, the, at the court. Why are you here and, uh, and why are you interested in, the, in this case? Yep. Well, I'm based in Brussels and normally covering the internal issue in Netherlands. And I'm watching this uh, case since uh, 2015 and I already issued uh, several big stories about uh, this case, yes. So now it's definite. It's an order from the court basically telling the government to clean up and to spare 14 megaton. Is it a big, would that be interesting news in Japan? Yeah, I think so, yeah, because uh, now the European Union has agreed on the carbon neutrality on 2050, yeah. and now Japan is suffering for the ambitious climate target. So this could be the, the, the big message for the foreign countries as well I think yeah. yeah is there an independent court in Japan which could do something like that in Japan something independent what in, in, you have an independent court in yeah, uh, Japan yeah. and, and, but they, are they able to give an order to the government to basically say hey this is the law you have to follow it uh, yeah of course yeah they have an independent uh, yeah. court but uh, there are not so many the, the case I mean the climate case in Japan so maybe this will encourage yeah. the the environmental movement in Japan yeah how important is uh, CO2 reduction in Japan compared to the energy security? Well, let's say both, of course, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you have uh, problems with nuclear, you're closing down nuclear plants, you have a lot of coal, you're importing things from Australia, to hydrogen from coal, hydrogen. Is it more about energy safety than about uh, energy neutrality? Yes, uh, the situation is, well, unfortunately, government... The Japanese government is now promoting the coal as a, uh, the basic energy, and and now they're facing the the big criticism from the worldwide. And I think the the things will be changed yeah. in coming future. Yeah. Hey, uh, you had uh, the they were doing a small summary for you in English. That was nice. But then they say the official English translation was not available at 12 o'clock this afternoon, but only 11th, January the 11th. What did you think about that? Well, let's say too late. <laughs> <laughs> because is there a lot of international inter interest in this case? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thanks for coming to Den Haag and appreciate it.